Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my youtube channel biology articles and mcqs today we are going to start the types of nephrons if you have not studied the structure of the nephron and kidney and then i will give the link in the description box you can study them there there are main two types of nephrons the first one is cortical nephron and the second one is juxta medullary nephron what is the difference between the, both these nephrons that uh, they differ both in, uh, in the structure and function and their presence um, you know, in the uh, kidney that where they are present means their position they are also uh, differ in their structure and function and their position and their amount that is present in the kidney so we will talk about uh, uh, all these four things one by one first of all we are talking about the structure that what is the difference in the structure of the cortical and juxta medullary nephron the difference in the cortical and juxta medullary nephron is that the loop of henle of the juxta medullary nephron and cortical nephron is different in size you can see here that the loop of henle of the cortical nephron is short and the loop of henle of the juxta medullary nephron is long so they, this is a main uh, difference in the structure of both these nephrons if we talk about their position then their position also differ in the uh, kidney means the main portion of the cortical nephron is present in the cortex portion of the kidney renal cortex portion but so they are called cortical nephron but in case of juxta medullary nephron they uh, their portion main portion uh, is both present in the cortex and renal medulla means their major portion is present in renal medulla and a small portion is present in cortex but in case of cortical nephron the major portion is present in renal cortex so they are called cortical and juxta medullary nephrons respectively if we talk about the function of B, both of these nephrons then the um, first of all you have to learn that what is the function of loop of henle because they are different in the size of the loop of henle so there is a main connection of the loop of henle with these with the function of both of these nephron the loop of henle has a main function of absorption of water reabsorption of water means if the, uh, there is excess amount of pres uh, uh, amount of water is present in your body then the loop of henle will reabsorb it and if, uh, push it into uh, your body uh, and into your blood vessels if we talk about the cortical nephron then uh, there is a short loop of henle and it will reabsorb less amount of water as compared to the juxta medullary nephron which has long loop of henle and it will absorb a high amount of water and when the high amount of water is reabsorbed in your body then uh, it will uh, result in the production of concentrated urine so the main function of the juxta medullary nephron is the production of concentrated urine and the main function of the cortical nephron is the uh, production of diluted urine because it will uh, reabsorb less amount of water as compared to juxta medullary nephron i hope you have uh, uh, understanding uh, that what i am saying about the structure function and position of both of these nephrons in the last if we talk about their number in the uh, kidney then the cortical nephrons are only 20% in the kidney while the juxta medullary nephrons are remaining 80% why at the juxta medullary nephrons are high in amount the main reason is that in the very scarcity of water and in the hot weather the human body needs that mean uh, and high amount of water should be reabsorbed in the body and conserved in the body so it is the main function of juxta medullary nephron and it will help in the reabsorption of the uh, water in the body uh, in that uh, hot conditions and hot temperature well so the uh, percentage of the juxta medullary nephron is 80% 
and the percentage of the cortical nephron is less and it is 20% as compared to juxtamedullary nephron i hope you have understand all about the structure function position and the amount of both the differences in the cortical and juxtamedullary nephron so if you like this video share this video with your friends and if you want to get the daily updates of the biology lectures you have to subscribe this channel thanks for watching